I just put it to my head and pull the trigger. No chickening out. No, I can't. Function in the switching system, today's rail schedule has been greatly altered. We apologize to any customers who are in a hurry. The next stop is Iwa Todai. Iwa Todai. This is the final train bound for Tatsumi Port Island. Please take care to board before our departure. Welcome. You're late. I've been waiting a long time. If you want to proceed, then please sign here. It's a contract. There's no need to be scared. It only binds you to accepting full responsibility for your actions. Very well. Time is something no one can escape. It delivers us all to the same end. Wishing won't make it go away. And so it begins. Who's there? How can you be... But it's... Don't tell me. Wait. <gasps> the lights. I didn't think you'd arrive so late. My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. 
I'm one of the students who live in the storm. Who's she? She's a transfer student. It was a last minute decision to assign her here. She'll eventually be moved to a room in the normal dorm. Is it okay for her to be here? I guess we'll see. This is Yukari Takeba. She'll be a junior this spring, just like you. Hi, I'm Yukari. Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you, too. It's getting late. You'll find your room on the third floor. Your thing should already be there. I suggest you tuck in for the night. Oh, I'll show you the way. Follow me. This is it. Pretty easy to remember, huh? Since it's right at the end of the hall. So, any questions? What are you talking about? Come on, it's not funny. Um, can I ask you something? On your way here from the station, was everything okay? You know what I... Never mind. It seems like you're alright. Well, I better get going. Um... I'm sure you still have other questions, but let's save them for later, okay? Good night! Yukari, are you awake? Good morning. Did you sleep okay? Mitsuru Senpai asked me to take you to school. Are you ready to go? Okay, then let's go. We have to take the monorail to get there. Bet your last school wasn't like that, huh? This is my favorite part, when it feels like you're gliding over the sea. Our stop is Port Island Station at the end of the line. From there, we walk. Have you ever heard of Tatsumi Port Island? It's a man-made island. They built our school right in the middle. Oh look, you can see it now! Well, here we are. Welcome to Gekukan High. You're gonna love it here. You're okay from here, right? You should go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is right there to the left. And that concludes the tour. 
Do you have any questions before I go? I think they're posted on the bulletin board, but I haven't checked yet either. Hey! About last night, don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? See you later! Are you the new student? 11th grade, correct? Wow, you've lived in a lot of different places. Let's see. In 1999, that was what, uh, 10 years ago? Your parents... <gasps> I'm sorry. I've been so busy I didn't have time to read this beforehand. I'm Miss Toriyumi. I teach composition. Welcome to our school. My, aren't you polite? Girls like you should be an example for others. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F. That's my class. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. Follow me. 
As you begin the new school year, I'd like each of you to remember the proverb, if a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. When applied to student life, this means for student. Yep, I've seen her too. She came to school with Ikari. I hear talking. I believe it's someone in Ms. Toriyumi's class. Shh, be quiet. You're going to get me in trouble. Whoa, check out the jocks on the run. Hey, did anyone tell you about the school clubs yet? Girls can join too, so why not do it if you're interested? You'd be joining as a new member though, so you won't be able to apply for a little while. Welcome back.
I'm going out for a bit. Hmm? Have you seen the newspapers lately? I know. People who had no problems before are suddenly developing acute cases of apathy syndrome. I've seen it in the news quite often lately. They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It has to be them. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. You have a one-track mind. Will you be okay on your own? Don't worry. I'm just getting a little practice. <sighs> this isn't a game, Akihiko. She's back. So, this is our new guest. Good evening. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. Ikutsuki. <laughs> Hard to say, isn't it? That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. I apologize about the confusion regarding your accommodations. However, it may take a while longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Is there anything you'd like to ask? Welcome you, of course. Speaking of which, where's Mitsuru, Yukari? She's upstairs. As diligent as always, although it doesn't hurt to come down and say hello. Do you have another question? There were only four students in this dorm. You, Yukari here, Mitsuru, and a senior named Akahiko Sanada. I hope you all get along. Do you have another question? You saw something strange. Like what? You were probably just tired. I wouldn't worry about it. It's bad for your complexion, you know. Do you have another question? Then, I hope you have a successful school year. Now, if you'll excuse me, you must be tired from all the excitement. You should go to bed early. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. Please forgive the bad pun. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get used to his lame jokes. <laughs> Working hard? So, how's she doing? She went to bed a little while ago. She's asleep now. Mr. Chairman, do you think she's... Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. <sighs> this sucks. presents the Bay Tuners. Tune in again next week for more of the hits. This
program is brought to you by Kirijo Electronics. Kirijo Electronics, always there when you need them. The time is now midnight. to me. <laughs> hmm. She's still sleeping. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then she must be... As you can see, she's retained her human form. She's asleep, but she's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not she has the potential. Although she must, if she didn't, they would have preyed on her by now. Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor her for a few more days. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on her like this. Welcome to the Velvet Room. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. Henceforth, you shall be welcome here in the Velvet Room. You are destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my help to do so. I only ask one thing in return, that you abide by the contract and assume responsibility for the choices you make. Hold on to this. There is still one more resident of this room who unfortunately could not be present for your arrival. But I'll make sure you two are properly introduced. Another time, perhaps. Till we meet again. Have you come here before? 
A lot of Gekukan students come here after school. There's a karaoke box and a CD shop. Oh, and a really great cafe, too. There's also a nightclub, but that's kind of not for us yet. Welcome back. How is she? The same as last night. Hmm, very interesting. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Memory loss, disorientation. But this subject is rather unique. She hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. But we're treating her like a guinea pig. I understand your concern, but it's imperative that we recruit new members. I heard she's in your class. Wouldn't you be more comfortable working with someone from the same grade? A female classmate at that. Yeah, I guess. But still. Command room. Is that you, Akihiko? You're not gonna believe this. This thing is huge. Unfortunately, I don't have time to talk. It's chasing me. I wanted to let you guys know. I'm almost there. Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? Mr. Chairman, let's suspend our observation for now. We'll prepare for battle. Right. Be careful. <sighs> Akihiko! I'm all right. Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. This is no time to joke around. It's one of them, Akihiko? Yes, but not an ordinary one. Ah! What the? You've got to be kidding me! Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. Takeba, go upstairs and wake her up. Then escape out the back. But what about you two? We'll stop it here. You led it to us, Akihiko, so I'm afraid you'll have to fight. Like I had a choice. What are you waiting for, Yukari? Go! I'm going! Wake up! Sorry, I'm coming in! I don't have time to explain. We have to get out of here now! Hurry, downstairs! We'll leave through the back door. Wait, take this, just in case. Okay, let's go. Follow me. All right, we should be safe now. Takeba, do you read me? Yes, I hear you. Be careful, there's more than one enemy. The one we're fighting isn't the one Akihiko saw. What? Let's pull back. What was that? It's getting closer. Keep moving, hurry! The door's locked. I think we're safe for now.
You gotta be kidding me! You climbed up the wall? There. They're on the roof. That gigantic shadow. Just what is it we're dealing with? Let's go, Mitsuru. Wait! That's the thing that attacked this place. We call them shadows. Oh yeah, I have to fight. I can summon mine. No problem. Here goes. What's that? Huh. Is it over? Are you okay? Oh, come on! Please! Can you hear me? Answer me! It's so nice to see you again. You became unconscious after awakening to your power. I see that it was Orpheus that heeded your calling. That power is called a persona. It is a manifestation of your psyche. A persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. You can think of it as a mask that protects you as you brave many hardships. When you use your persona ability, 
you must channel your inner strength. The ability evolves as you develop your social links, your emotional ties with others. The stronger your social links, the more powerful your persona ability. Please remember that. Now then, time marches on in your world. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. Next time we meet, you will come here of your own accord. Until then, farewell. You're awake. Um, how do you feel? Thank goodness you finally came too. I was so worried about you. The doctor couldn't find anything wrong with you. He said you were just exhausted. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. But your power, it was amazing. You mean the shadows? They're what we're fighting against. And the power you used, we call it Persona. We'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. I, uh, I wanted to tell you that I'm sort of like you. My dad died in an accident when I was little. My mom and I aren't exactly on good terms. You're all alone too, right? To be honest, I already know about your past. But it didn't seem fair, so I wanted you to know about mine. It was back in 99. There was a big explosion in the area. Supposedly, my dad died in the blast. But nobody really knows what happened. He was working in a lab run by the Kirijo group. So, I'm hoping that if I stick around long enough, I'll find out something. That's why I'm going to Gekukan High, and why I was there when this happened to you. Of course, I panicked and wasn't much help. It was my first time fighting them too. I'm sorry. You wouldn't have to go through all this if I wasn't such a coward. Thanks. But still. Here I am telling you all this the minute you wake up. While I was waiting, I thought to myself. I've been hiding so many things from her. As soon as she wakes up, I'll tell her the truth. So... Thanks for listening. I've been wanting to share that story with someone for a long time. All right, I'm gonna get going. I'll let the others know you woke up. Oh, and uh, you don't have to be formal around me or anything. A second year girl's gotta stick up for each other after all. Bye.